Hey guys, Ryan here, and today what I want to discuss is just where this channel is going and uh, what to expect in the near future and why I've been so inactive lately. So first off, you know, for a while I did have that cold, and um, that really, like, I just didn't want to do anything while I had that, so sorry I couldn't get any, like, I did upload, like, one or two during it, but, you know, it's just really annoying. I still have a bit of a cough right now, but, so, sorry in advance if I do uh, cough a bit during this commentary, but for the most part, it should be good. Anyways, um, yeah, just why I've been inactive lately, I just feel like I have nothing new to offer to the community, alright? So when we started out, there was, like, there was channels, obviously, <coughs> oh, excuse me, but there were no, like, um, there was not an abundance of channels that there are now, like, there was no, the community was a lot smaller back in the NHL 11 demo, like, a lot smaller, um, for the NHL community, NHL 12 was NHL's Call of Duty 4, like, Call of, I meant Modern Warfare 2, sorry, my bad, um, when Modern Warfare 2 came out, there was a bunch of people starting to make videos. When NHL 12 came out, that's when a lot of people started making videos for NHL. And, uh, that's not a bad thing at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Personally, I really like that. I'm glad more people are enjoying videos, more people are deciding to put out their own content and, um, make other people happy with their content. It's awesome. <coughs> because not only are there more people posting... There's also more, like, the more people there are, the more creativity, the better videos r are produced, for the most part. Like, generally, the more people there are, the better videos that are produced as a whole. <clears throat> Not necessarily, but I think it has worked that way for the NHL community. <coughs> Just right now, I want to give big shout-outs to Bacon Country and Mold Gold, um, because they, like, they're doing something totally different they're trying to do they're doing what i've been trying to do all along like in a different way let me explain this in a second but um their links will be down in the description below definitely go check them out if you haven't already they're really underrated they're so funny <coughs> there's a pretty nice goal there actually but um like they're trying to do something different and that's why i have a ton of respect for them instead of going the tra <coughs> oh, excuse me the traditional route gameplay commentary they're doing that but like they're adding a ton of comedy into it and i think it's they've been really successful in doing that um most commentators may throw in a joke here or there but their commentaries that's what they're based off pretty much for the most part like bacon country not as much as mold gold like mold gold's channel is based off of comedy in my opinion by far without a doubt the funniest nhl commentator bacon country those trolling videos fantastic definitely go check them out like i said links in the description down below um anyways i don't know why i just went on that rant. oh by the way as we're on the thing for shout outs i do need to give one out to uh, ultimate pro 13 his link will also be in down in the shirt ah oh my god i can't talk right now down in the description below <coughs> he helped me move all my ultimate team cards so uh, thank you to him. <coughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. But, uh, yeah, so like I was saying, um, the community, like, it's gotten a lot bigger, and with that, more people have found, like, different content makers. So, whereas before, we were, like, we still are, I consider our, this channel one of the main NHL channels, and I'm, because we are, like, I'm not trying to sound cocky in any way, but, like, we are a bigger channel than most. We're... I think one of the biggest... Oh, by the way, guys, where is Trevdo? <laughs> Let's get Trevdo back, man. He hasn't posted for, like, a month. Like, I don't know where he went. <coughs> Excuse me, or what happened. But, uh, I really... I think I've watched almost every one of Trevdo's NHL videos. I don't know where he went. He was, like, one of the original guys. Um, he was back there with, uh, Dan Man and Death Monkey for NHL 10. He was awesome. But, uh, let's try and get Trevdo back. I don't know what happened. Maybe, like, I did see on uh, one of his tweets. He said he was really busy, but, um, that's disappointing, man. He was one of the main guys I watched, especially getting bigger as a channel. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways. Like, I feel like, uh, this could... I meant <laughs> Oh, my God, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, this channel was based off of... 
montages for the most part and highlights clips stuff like that and then eventually we got into commentating which obviously isn't as successful as our montages are personally i think my commentaries aren't even that good like us in the montage community is much more successful than uh our commentaries do you know what i mean like maybe it's because of the amount of work we put into our montages compared to our commentaries oh oh okay no, I don't know why I keep, uh, stuff just keeps on popping into my head, and I gotta say this right now, uh, I don't know if they wanted me to say this or not, but, um, two things, alright, one, we are doing a montage with Dobbs, uh, what's it, Bones on Demand, how did I forget that, possibly Nasher, so guys, let's try and get Nasher, I haven't got word yet if he is in, I hope he is, cause that'd make the montage a lot better, but uh, that should be pretty sweet, and <laughs> oh my god, guys, um, right before we got that email, I was sending an email to uh, the NHL Ninja, who's, uh, he makes community, I'll leave his link in the description down below as well, might as well, it's gonna be filled with just links to channels, but definitely go check this guy out. He's another guy, along with um, Mold Gold and Bacon Country. He's doing something different. Those community montages are amazing. They blow my mind. They are so good. Uh, he's doing something different. So much respect for that guy. And um, he did say he would edit when I asked him. And uh, he said yes, so that's good. But unfortunately, like now we're, we're going to be working on two montages. <coughs> and uh, I don't know what kind of clips they want for that uh, four-man montage. But the one we're going to be putting out is going to be verses and shootouts, so that's good. While we're on that topic, um, also, we got another message today from NHL Edits. He's the guy who edited Studs Hockey's 400 subs NHL montage, and um, he asked if he could edit one of our montages. So I was like, alright, yeah, might as well. Um, so he, I, I'm... Yeah, I, I don't know. I cannot talk. He has not got word back to me yet. Um, if he's willing to do what I asked him to do, I was thinking he could do like, uh, I don't know if you guys are into the Call of Duty videos or not, but OCE is a one clip edit. So like, I would send him a nice shootout move or nice versus clip, something like that, and he would just edit that one clip and then we post that up there. So it's short, sweet. Um, because before, highlights actually used to do really good on our channel. We'd post, like, single highlights, and uh, they did really well. So I'm hoping he's up to that, and that should be good. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there in that, by the way. But, uh... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, get Marty Turco for hot. He's insanely good. Trust me, guys. Seriously, pick up Marty Turco. He's, like, 400 bucks or something. I got him in a pack, I'm pretty sure. But I've been using him. Him and Martin Buran... They're amazing. Like, I've had good goalies in the past. These guys are doing better than I ever have. I'm actually, like, top 15 in the month or top 20 or something like that. So that's pretty good. But what was I... I don't even know what this... What I was talking about. Oh. So, yeah. I, I feel like I have nothing to offer uh, in the community now. Because there's so many people doing so many stuff. So much stuff, sorry. And uh, there's few people that you cannot replace. Ours, I feel like you can replace us um actually let me take a drink real quick all right sorry guys but um maybe this will help me stop coughing anyways uh so yeah there's like a few channels that cannot be replaced you can't replace a fantastic commentator commentator unless you're a great commentator but with practice you can become like not everyone has that like great voice for commentating some people do, some people obviously do not. Most people don't. And, um, what was I saying? Man, I forget. Alright, anyways, but, uh, yeah, so some people can't be replaced. And just one thing, like, I feel our, ours can be replaced. With practice, you could just easily get as good as us. <coughs> and then that's not a problem. Um, anyways, before this video goes, I want to give another shit this isn't really a shit i just want to be like like uh sort of thank you to nasher for talking about that um connecticut shooting because like that was a touchy subject i was gonna do a video on that but i really like i didn't know if i could pull it off and i thought he did a fantastic job with his uh i'll link the video in the description below but like honestly i feel he did a fantastic job of 
you know, portraying it. And uh, so big shout out to him. Most of you guys already know him and stuff. But I just wanted to say, like, he did a really, really well, yeah, really, really good job on that. Sorry. And uh, just wanted to give him respect for that. But uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, my God. If for now, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. The likes have been pretty down lately. So if you're still here, let me know. Uh, leave a like, please. If you enjoyed it. If you didn't, that's all fine. But uh, that's all for now, guys. We will see you next time.